quick video to show how to do cyclocross tubeless. Uh, I've got a wheel. This one is the Mavic Axiom. Uh, I think the other Mavic ones work particularly well, like the Gasserian Elite. Uh, used that one too. I've got a tire. This is the Captain Cross. It's a specialized tire, which is tubeless specific, although it doesn't have to be. I'm also using the Vittoria uh, XG Pro. That worked out nicely as well. Uh, important is the Stan's rim strip, cyclocross specific. This, seem, this part seems to be crucial. Uh, a little bit of seal in it. Some kind of a funnel. I used an old uh, racing number, taped it up into a funnel and snipped the bottom. Oktoberfest. Soapy. Water mix. Lots of good suds in here. Get the rim strip all sized up. Let's drop it in. Take the rim and wipe this down. So one, it's clean. And two, a little bit of soapy water works like looks like a little lubricant. Make sure this the strip slides around, moves to where it needs to be. So you want it to be evenly distributed and well centered. So we'll start with a little tension on here. Sight all around. Keep looking to make sure that the rim strip is nice and centered. Actually you want to start opposite the valve stem. If this is a non-tubeless tire, this part will be pretty easy. However, since this is a tubeless tire, I'm probably going to have to use yeah. Part where you can break tire levers. Let's take two pops. There we go. One B is mounted, one B is not. Same thing for the other side. Start opposite the valve stem. Stem. So what I'll do is I'll lift up 
on the sides, pull it outwards, press down with your thumb to provide extra pressure there, lift the tire up so it's suspended in the air, and with the other, with the other hand, give it a few quick strong pumps. Now the tire pumps holding the area. First inflation, get it up to about 40 psi. This is nothing, this is going to do nothing else but just seat the bead. And of course, you're not going to be able to hold there with no valve stem. So, next thing we're going to do, release the air. Once your funnel is drained, up to the side, take the valve core, unthreaded, put it back in there, tighten it up. Probably want to carefully rotate this thing around. Lift up side walls, squeeze down in the middle. Give it a little 40 psi. Let it sit for some time. Shake it up. We don't sit at this side for a while. That's it. So all takes, all stands, all side across. It's ready for action.